As we watched the world news of the outbreak of the coronavirus, cities and countries were locked down, economies were stagnated, people's lives became difficult, and their hearts were in fear. With the numbers of infections and deaths climbing continually, were you not increasingly fearful and restless? Have you thought of finding a safe shelter to hide from the virus? In China, at the beginning of the outbreak, many escaped to other countries, assuming it would be safe there. However, eventually the virus spread to the entire world and there was no safe haven to be found anymore. Due to the rapid increase in the numbers of infected people, governments had no choice but to order citywide lockdowns. In no time, crowds of people flocked to markets to shop frantically, stocking up supplies, resulting in empty shelves in all major supermarkets. Looking at the empty shelves, one could not help but wonder whether this could truly buy the sense of security. Would life after quarantine be truly secure? Where can we find the true peace? In the Gospel of John, the Lord Jesus said, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have affliction, but take courage, I have overcome the world. Dear friend, although our environment is not peaceful, the Lord Jesus told us that in Him is peace. Although there are many unexplainable sufferings in the world and much restlessness, the Lord Jesus said that we can take courage because He has overcome the world. You do not need to worry and fear, and you do not need to look for a so-called shelter, because the Lord Jesus is the peace. Dear friend, let us receive this God of peace by faith and enter into the realm of peace. He will be our peace and our rest, and only He is our true shelter. We will fear no more, and all the troubles in the world will touch us no more, because we are in the eternal peace. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Savior. O Lord, enter into me to be my life and everything. O oh Lord, I am willing to give myself fully to you, to be a person who enjoys you.